No blade music playing. Always. Every single time in the arenas. It's a promise, really. Mm hmm. That being said, Jay Gun gonna be going good Ninja, obviously, and Noku with his try, and true Pokemon trainer. Gonna be starting off on PS2, very, very classic. Um, I'd assume both players are very comfortable with this matchup. Yeah, they're playing on the New York City, the New York Comfort Stage. New York, New York Comfort Stage. Stage. Yeah. Ooh, actually, I will be right back. I have to quickly run to the powder. Alright, yeah. So, for those who have fought, uh, if you haven't fought Squirtle before, man, this little guy is quick as hell. He's able to land a lot of really quick hits, and he is basically a read monster. Like, he's just looking for that one big read that gets him some kind of reward. Uh, Ivysaur, on the other hand, plays more of a mid range, and he, has, he can have kind of a tough time against Greninja once he gets into the air. Uh, he doesn't have that many good landing options. And finally, we have Charizard, who's literally just the tank. One of the better uh, out of shield options, so Jay Grunt has to be pretty careful that he doesn't get uh, up smashed. Um, Greninja, on the other hand, is looking to use a little bit of shield pressure. He has pretty safe on hits aerials, which makes it pretty tough. You saw his forward air cross up there, so it can be pretty rough trying to punish that. Oh, yeah, Jay Grunt waiting for the F smash, but not quite. Uh, waited a little bit too long there. And Noku using his mid-air spot dodge really doing advantage and getting out of the combos. Pretty smart. Oh man, that was really good timing on that flare blitz punish. Uh, he probably could have just up smashed straight up, but the back air is not bad. He gets to keep, he gets, he gets, he gets to keep stage control. And honestly, whoever gets the stock first is probably going to be in a great position to uh, to be able to take advantage of the next stock and get that little bit of extra credit that it comes with. Oh, baby. Good forward air from Jaguar. Taking the early lead, but the up B, the grounded up B, going to be enough to, to just kill Jaguar completely from the ledge. His character was at 150 and he's super light, so it makes sense. Multi City, this game is pretty even. Noku's been doing a great job of like just getting out of all the confirms, either using uh, air dodging or uh, the Pokemon swap, which is the same kind of frame data as an air dodge, but without the uh, loss of height. Which, when you're playing a character like Greninja, likes to link together moves, can make it really hard to pick up the combo afterwards when it's done outside of certain heights. Alright, Noku waiting on staying on Squirtle, interestingly enough. But Jigrup managed to get some good amount of damage. We saw earlier that when um when Noku had gone Ivysaur, he wasn't really willing to fight Jig he wasn't really willing to fight Jay Grunt when he was in the air. He's probably gonna swap as soon as uh as soon as Jay Grunt gets him above him. Okay, good pressure. I like this uh this move from Jay Grunt overall. And Noku's trying to make it as difficult as possible. Uh, Razor Leaf is not a very quick move, but it does have, uh, like many very slow move projectiles, it can be really useful. And a nice down tilt into forward air. I think Jagrant's gonna take the second stock. Uh, Noku has a lot of options that can finish this. And jumping into the up B might have been enough. There's a little bit of 4%. Alright, good, uh, good setup with the down tilt to up smash. And not quite close enough to the uh, to the ledge to get the to get the kill there from Jay Run. All right, nice grab. The up throw is almost definitely gonna do it. Yes. See Jay Grunt not quite going for the tech chase. Man, who has not been super vulnerable to it. So sometimes, uh, if you think your opponent's going to miss the tech, you might... Oh, and a really good back air, almost finishing it off for Jagrunts. But that second one just did it, and a great JV2 stock from Jagrunt. Very nicely done. You can see that Jagrunt actually changed his methodology for how he was trying to follow up off the up air towards the end of the match because he realized Noku is teching each of these really well, and I'm not having much luck predicting his uh, his tech option. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep him in the air, I'm going to keep up airing, I'm hitting with the final hit, and then hope that I can kind of get him, I can kind of trap him again, and he's able to get some good damage off of that. 
we can see like on each of these stocks, uh, Jigrunt was able to take it first. Uh, Noku wasn't quite able to kind of get a beat on him. And Greninja can honestly be a very difficult character to, uh, to kind of keep track of because he's super quick. He has a lot of safe on shield moves. And he overall is just able to kind of get in your face and get out pretty quickly. But alright, going to game two to Battlefield. Uh, FD is definitely a Greninja standby just because it, uh, it allows him a lot more space to move around and kind of swoop in at his leisure. And platforms can make that a little more difficult. But you know what? He also has a lot of things he can do with platforms. It's going to be interesting to see how, uh, how Jake Rick changes his interactions for this stage. Oh man, waiting a little bit too long there before uh, getting off the ledge. Noku not reacting, and is this going to be it? That should be enough! Oh my goodness, Squirtle, he didn't charge his F-Smash at all, so he wasn't able to fight kill. Whoa, this man has balls of steel getting up out of that situation, bro. Just wait. There's one thing that you take away from this, is that Ivysaur's F-Smash cannot reach the ledge. So you should never get up off the ledge against Ivysaur F-Smash until after he's done it. Because that move is kind of covers a lot of space, and it's really active, but it has a little bit of end lag, so you can generally get off of the ledge pretty safely if you don't just decide to get up off it. And Noku taking a pretty early lead about to lap, uh, to lap Jig Run. I also really like uh, Noku's use of Withdraw in order to, uh, to kind of get off the stage. Uh, giving up stage control can be really dangerous, but when you have a move like Withdraw, it can be a lot more preferable to, to being <laughs> on the stage when the move finishes. And he's spacing it specifically so he'll be able to grab the legends once it's done. Jigrunt not really figuring out what to do here. The, the extra platforms potentially causing more issues, plus the way that Noku has been like changing his playstyle overall for the past match. I feel like Noku's playing a lot more self-assuredly. Uh, he's trying to get... Ooh, okay, I respect it. But you know what? Trainer has two air dodges, not one. So you gotta be ready for that second air dodge as well. And a nice back air into down smash. Oh, not quite getting close enough to, to the Charizard to be able to get the hit. Greninja can definitely cover that in a good down tilt. Uh, Jigrunt feeling himself a little bit. He's trying to get back into the motion. He's trying to make sure that he can kind of pick it up and keep going with the next stock. Good water gun. It's going to put uh, Jigrunt in not a great position, but Squirrel doesn't have that many, awesome, that many great options for punishing uh, someone coming off the ledge super safely. Oh no, and Jigrunt survives because we're on Battlefield. But you know what, that uh... One of the easiest things to do when a player is really desperate to get back to the stage is to just kind of throw out a smash as soon as they connect to the ledge. Uh, you'd be surprised the number of times that people uh... That just people just... get up into it. Yeah, no, they'll just get him, get up into it because they're like, Oh crap, I survived, I need to keep moving. I need to like a... get up right now, I need to get back onto stage. Like... Yeah. Happens so much more often than you would think. Like. And and honestly, that's like a really big distinction between um, like certain caliber levels of players, calibers, bleh, caliber levels of players, uh, because like some like are able to catch onto that antsiness, and others will just kind of I don't know scramble along with you. Yeah, no. It can also just be a response to being like, I should not have survived that. Oh man, and that Razor wow. Leaf into up air is going to be enough to finish it. Very nicely done by Noku taking game two. Mm -hmm. I don't know how Jake Grant took game one, but considering this was a two stock lead from Noku, this looked It was really pretty close overall. Um, I honestly think the counter pick was a huge component of it. I feel like Jake Grant wasn't moving as confidently because they did start on PS2, um, and Greninja doesn't do badly on battlefields, but if you're not like. If you're finding a character like Trainer who benefits significantly from platforms, it can be kind of rough. Of course, that's not to mention the fact that Noku had kind of started the whole the, the beginning of the set by going to Squirtle, and actually managed to do most of the damage for the first uh, 
You can see right here. He immediately grabs the ledge and he does an option. Yeah. At the exact second that he's able to, which I He didn't think that killed. he would make it. He was definitely really antsy to get back on the stage. He could have waited just like, you know, a couple frames longer than he would have been able to react. But obviously that wasn't the case. Alright, so we're on to round three. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought this was a replay of like game one or something. And I was just blankly staring at the screen for a second. Um, ooh, such a good wait, but uh, still gonna be hit with that falling node. A little bit more active than I would have had expected it to be. He tries to set up the jab lock. Um, but Noku is obviously really ready for that. It's one of the reasons why Greninja particularly excels at Wi-Fi. He's able to set up jab lock so easily with drag down up air from basically any free sound. And people are just finding it really, really difficult to be able to tech that um, in this kind of environment. Ah, oh, almost gets it back here. Good air dodge coming from Jay Grunt. Once again, getting back on the stage really, really aggressively. Fantastic parry from Noku. Um, just gonna reset the ledge trap situation. Good use of nail for coverage rather than to get a kill. Just need to get a better idea of how Jay Grunt wants to get back onto the stage. Sometimes you don't always have to ledge trap with the intent to kill, right? Like sometimes it could just be about like keeping your opponent off stage or, um, you know, just knocking him off for a little bit longer, dealing a little bit of extra damage. Because that is still considered a win for you. Uh, tries to get the jump lead, not able to find it though. On uh, Greninja, so tiny, able to low profile after that back here. Finishes off the second stock with an up smash, switches right back to Squirtle. Really, really good choice. Um, definitely like the most difficult like hurt box for Greninja to be able to combo. However, that being said. Noku finally breaking out, but not before he's taking 54%. Is that the kill? Ugh. He had it! He, I mean, Jay Grunt was like, he had that lead. Yeah, he had the read. I don't know if it would have killed at 50%, but man, that was a pretty, that was a pretty charge F smash. I respect it. <laughs> Good plank from Noku. Just, uh, you know, drop down to go to the Nuppy a little bit. Um, just maybe wait and see if Jay Grunt was going to get hit by it or not. And of course, Jay Grunt has to respect it from that distance. Good inches just not. Oh. Wow, what a jump loop. Yeah, reading the jump. Honestly, with a character that big, it's pretty, uh, it can be pretty tough to to get out of that situation without air dodging and treating that in that situation. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's a 50 50, right? Like, what are you going to do? Yeah. Either A, you're going to jump, or you're gonna B, you're going to air dodge down, yeah. You know, 100%. All right, so we have Noku potentially almost getting the up air again. I really thought he was about to end that the same way he ended game one. Mm -hmm. Or game two, okay. sorry. Mm -hmm. Like the little momentum switch from Jay Grunt. He was, you know, all up in Noku's face, but then just took a moment to slow it down through a water shuriken. He saw that Noku was completely unprepared to deal with that. These up air links are, dealing, are doing so much for Jay Grunt right now. <gasps> Ooh, what a change! <laughs> this, fennel, this fennel dog just, just sort of chased Jay Grunt all the way to the other side. Wow. Yep, nice little poke here in there. Doesn't want to get too aggressive because, you know, you slip up once against Charizard, you deal. You take how much damage? A lot of damage. Uh, mm, tried to lead maybe like a tech out. Uh, was not able to find it though. Yeah, not able to get the air dodge read either. Next time he knocks him up like that though, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw an aerial coming from Jigglon. Noku is not in a great position here. He's oh ah, I didn't read the roll away. That was a little uh that was a good uh good attempt from Jake. I mean honestly, Charizard like has an action we play on that, right? He's about to plug it in any second and and you don't know how early he could get a kill. I, I can feel it coming. Wow, what a way to get back onto the stage and he is just living by a hill. Is that going to be it? Yes it is. What a tragic way to go down. He upbeat a little bit too early, and as a result, simply got shot up by the win box. And uh, Jay Grunt gonna be taking a 2-1 over Noku. Nice.
Everybody's popping off with Jake Gunt in the chat. Yo, frog time, bro. Snow Infinity says, Hi, Duramgar! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. <laughs> Jay's got a couple of fans in the chat. People popping off with him and saying that he slept on. Yeah, no, Jay's very nice. Jay has always done extremely well every time he entered. <laughs> 